So some of us are probably wondering why Clementine got bitten in the last episode of The Walking Dead, the final season, episode 4, and never turned into a walker. Clem! I got you! Go! Oh, I'm right behind you! From the beginning of the entire series with Clementine, once you got bitten, you're basically going to turn. But something really changed during the fourth season, which is the final season. Now, if we want to learn more about the bite, what happens is we have to go back to the first season of The Walking Dead with Lee and Clementine. At the end of that season, what happened was Lee got bitten right on the hand. It was a really small scratch, right? So I'm not sure if that's considered a bite, but he ended up turning. if you cut off his arm. So you had the option of cutting off his arm or leaving his arm on. If you cut off his arm, he basically just went armless, right? And then once we got to the end, Lee still turned. Something changed during the fourth season or the final season of The Walking Dead, uh, episode two. What happened was AJ and Clementine ran into somebody named Abel. And Abel, if you pushed him against a zombie, he was bitten. And AJ and Clementine thought he died. Now he showed up once again, but this time with a missing arm. And that's because he was able to cut off the arm quick enough before he turned. Now that is one of the reasons why Clementine didn't turn. But I think there's a bigger reason. You see, when Clementine was first bitten... She actually spent a great deal of time trying to survive, going to the barn with AJ and then teaching AJ how to avoid the zombies. That was a good, I don't know, let's say 10 to 30 minutes. It's not like even with Lee, right? When Lee cut off his arm in the first season, after the huge amount of time she spent going from where she was bitten to the barn and then teaching AJ, that was a good amount of time. and Opposed to Lee, right? Lee could have just gotten his arm cut off right away and that would have been done. But he still would have turned anyways. Maybe that was going to be part of the story so Clementine can grow up or something. But here is what I think. Minus Abel. Nobody knows how he survived, right? Because two zombies pulled him over and he lost only an arm, which was quite surprising. But for Clementine, what happened was Minnie cut her leg open, literally split the leg open, and blood was gushing out and everything. That's where she was bitten, right on the area in which it was cut, right? So there was an opening there, and blood was gushing out. So blood is not circulating throughout her entire body. What I think is because of that, they, AJ was able to cut off her leg and she was able to survive without turning because if blood is coming out right there's no blood going into the other parts of the body which means the virus or the infection 
does not go there. I could be completely wrong, but that's what I think. Um, other than the fact that they cut off her leg, right? Because generally speaking, if you cut off somebody's arm or body part, they don't survive. We've seen that with Leah. We've seen that with Kenny's wife. And the only person that actually survived was Abel. And that's because we didn't even see what happened. But for those that you do see what happens, generally they die. But I think the reason why Clementine did not turn and survived is because the bite was just at the edge of that opening where everything, you know, all the blood was coming out and everything. And it was just, just wasn't circulating throughout the entire body. I mean, if something just keeps on going out, right, and it can't go anywhere else, then the infection probably just doesn't really matter. Had she kept it on, you know, just cut off a bit of piece of that uh, portion that was infected, would she have turned? Who knows, right? But they cut off the entire leg. But that's what I think. Let me know what you think in the comment section below.